Mm-mm. Hello. This is Sweet June. Coming back at you. Like my hat. I'm going to call this my keeping it real hat. Because <laughs> I'm on here today. I'm going to bring some realness to you. Now what I'm going to talk about today is. The blame game. Black men and the blame game. That's what I'm going to talk about. Because I, I think this is a very serious issue. Uh, but my question to black men is. Why do y'all blame black women for everything? Now, uh, by the way, it's either you're blaming black women or you're blaming white men. It's either the black woman gets blamed for your problems or the white man. And I think that's the reason why black men hate to see white men and black women together because if they're not blaming the white man, they're blaming the black woman. What's up with that? I'm not saying all you brothers, but I'm, I'm seeing a lot of blogs on here where black men is saying black women this, black women that. It don't make no sense. Why do black men blame us for everything? If they're not blaming black women, they're blaming white men. What's, going, what's up with that? Let's examine that. Black men... It, it just seems like to me, you know, that, like, let's let's throw a scenario out there. Black man meets black woman. Black man has sex with black woman. Black man gets black woman pregnant. Black man blames the black woman for getting pregnant. Now, if she didn't force him to have sex with her, unprotected then how in the heck is it all her fault okay let's keep it real here but this is what a lot of black men do and I think this is the problem major one of the major problems in the black community is that black men are blaming black women for everything when where is person was called personal responsibility you know when we become adults that's a part of being a mature adult is taking responsibility for your actions and it seems to me a lot of black men refuse to do that you know they're not taking responsibility for their actions and this is a problem you know this is a serious problem because uh, as a result a lot of children are being raised out of wet lot you know and it's like black men want to blame the black woman for everything. I, I, I'm, I'm hearing, uh, you know, the black men blaming the black women for all the problems in the black community. Now, the Bible says, you know, Adam was created. Let me give you a little Bible lesson here. God created Adam. Then he put Adam to sleep, said Adam shouldn't be alone. He put Adam to sleep. Took one of his ribs and he created Eve. And so the Bible, God clearly stated that the man is the head of the woman. Women are not the head of men. Men are the head of the woman. Now some women don't like to hear that. But it is what it is. But, at, but so with that being said, why are black women being blamed for everything that happens in the black community when we're not even supposed to be the head of the black community the man is supposed to be the head of the black community you know brothers are supposed to be holding down the black community but everything is put in the black woman's hands you know we're blamed for black men being in prison we are blamed for the AIDS you know you know I, I hear black men blaming black women for uh, contracting AIDS. Well, who's giving it to black women? Who's giving it to black women? If the AIDS rate is high with black women, then who's giving it to her? It's got to be black men. You know? So, the black men just don't want to take responsibility. And this is what I'm having a problem with. 
Why do y'all blame us for everything? Everything is not our fault. We get blamed for everything. If you're not blaming the black woman, you're blaming the white man. Well, the white man is not to blame for all your problems either. Black man is on the corner selling dope. Then the first thing he says, well, the white man don't want to give me no job. You're not out there looking for a job. I, I see there's a lot of black men out there that are gainfully employed. And they manage to stay out of trouble. And they manage to not get involved in drugs, selling drugs, or using or whatever. And they're responsible men. Now, if those black men are doing it, then how come you're not doing it? There's no excuse. You know, I, I, I hate that when black men say that. Oh, the white men don't want to give me a job. No, are you looking for a job? See, that's the thing. You have to be looking for a job in order to get one. Nobody's going to come knocking on your door offering you a job. Okay? Let's keep it real here. You got to go out and look. Because, see, I, 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 you know, my brother keeps a job. He's a black man. He keeps a job. I know a lot of other black men stay employed. They keep a job. But it's a certain way that you have to present yourself to. You know, when you're applying for a job, you, you have to present yourself in the right types of ways. And there are successful black men out here that are very successful. So they're living proof that, yes, it can be done. So it's no excuse for you to be on the, on the corner selling dope. Or out here stealing from people or whatever. There's no excuse. It's not the black woman's fault. And it's not the white man's fault. It's your fault. Take responsibility. Stop blaming the black woman and the white man for everything. And I'm noticing that a lot of you brothers on here are doing that. It doesn't make any sense. Now, you know, when you get in, and there's another thing. A black man, you know, meets one or two, maybe three black women that they, you know, had a bad relationship, you know, had bad experiences with. It's like millions of black women in this country. Why is it all our fault? Why is it every black woman's fault in this country that you ran up on them black women? Hmm? Could it have been your choices that you made? Maybe you didn't pick the right ones. I don't know. See, this is what the problem that I have. See, black men complain about black women having attitudes and this and that and the other. And they say we're all the same. And we're not all the same. And I'm getting tired of that. I'm, we're not all like that. See, I'm, I'm explaining to you what the problem is. This is what the problem is. Black men, men have extremely high standards when it comes to black women. Very... Um, some, sometimes unreasonable high standards and they're looking for superficial things they're not looking at what's on the inside they're so busy looking at what she looks like on the outside her hair you know her body and they're so busy looking at other things they don't take the time to find out to, to learn the woman's character so they get involved in the relationship with her and they get dogged out. And then all, now, all of a sudden, it's every black woman's fault throughout the whole United States that this woman dogged you out. Now, every black woman you meet, you give her a hard time because you, you chose this woman that dogged you out. Yeah, she might have been beautiful. She might have had um, nice hair, big butt, or whatever it is that you guys look for. But then she dogged you out. You didn't take the time to check out her character. And this is what everybody has to do when meeting somebody. You know, the beauty is only skin deep. So, you know, you can't blame every black woman for your bad choices. You chose that woman. You made the choice to hook up with that woman. So don't blame every black woman because you had a bad experience. Or you keep running into these women that's got attitudes or whatever. Well, maybe you need to take a look in the mirror at yourself. And figure out, why are you picking these type of women? Okay? Why are you running into these kind of women? Because guess what? Not every black woman is like that. You know? There's some good black women out here that's intelligent. Got a lot going for themselves. You know? They don't have attitudes. You know? Come on, brothers. And, it, and the same goes for black women, too. You can't say all black men are dogs. 
when you're picking the wrong guys. It's the same goes for black women. You know, I've had some bad experiences with black men, but I'm not going to blame every black man I see. I have to take responsibility for the choices that I made. If this is the type of guys that I chose. But I, I, every black man I see, I'm not going to blame him for what happened to me with these other black guys. It's not fair to him. It's called judging a person by the content of their character. This is what we got to learn to do. You've got to judge a, a person by the content of their character. You cannot judge them according to someone else. It is ignorant. It is unreasonable. Unloving. It's all that. It's 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 not even doesn't even make any sense. You know, at some point we got to take responsibility for our choices, and this is what the black man needs to do. If you choose to get out there and you sell dope, don't. It's not the white man's fault. It ain't the black woman's fault. That's your fault. Because guess what? There are black men that are working. They're gainfully employed, and they're not on the corner selling dope, and they're not in and out of jail. So what is it that they're doing differently than you? Examine that. Everything is not the white man's fault. Yes, there is racism, and it's real. But, however, there are obstacles, but you can overcome those obstacles. There's too many black men out there that's successful that has, has proven that theory wrong. You know, ultimately, Jehovah God is in control of our destiny, not the white man. You can't blame the white man for everything. Everything is not the white man's fault. And if you carry yourself in a good way, if you carry yourself in a good way, in a respectable way, there's, there's some white man that might have respect for you and might go on and give you a chance. Because um, I've seen that happen too. I've seen that done too. You know, my son's father, he's, you know, He's he's got a, he's he's was able to do a lot of things because of the way he presents himself to the white man, you know. So it, it could it could it could be it could be done. It's all in how you carry yourself, a lot of times. So this is what I want to say, black man: stop blaming the black woman for everything. Stop blaming the white man for everything. Everything is not all fault. Take some responsibility for your actions. That's a part of being a, a mature adult. Take responsibility. Stop blaming the black woman and the white man for everything. Then you'll find that your life will make a turnaround. Okay, sweet June 2010, I get back at you.